Hey guys. How is everyone? I'm just going to um wait a minute whilst people jump on the call. Cool. Gosh, oh my god, how old is that? No, it's the Skype. Um Hi there, hi Patty. I've seen you floating around. Um Yeah, you can see there my um gorgeous Janumi sewing machine Shh, it's a little secret about me I'm a closet sewer um it's not something I have learnt to do it's um something that I love to do so um yeah so it's like nearly 11 o'clock here in Australia so let me know where you are I'd love to know um that's the joys of Periscope is finding out where everyone is um I'm just going to flip the camera Hello, how you going? So, hello, hey Sarah. Oh, some loves. So, right, open and honest full disclosure time. Who saw my scope from earlier today? Earlier this afternoon, my time. Hi, Sarah. So, now I know that some of you watched it. I know that four of you watched it. I know that two of you have watched the replay. Uh, not the replay. Um, watched the follow-up Periscope. And I suppose this is the follow-up follow-up Periscope of that. Um, so, yeah. Um, throw me a comment. Let me know um, if you actually watched it because I would love to know. So, if you didn't watch it... <laughs> um, I'll, I'll let you know what happened. I was doing a scope to upload onto my blog. I blog weekly for Right to Write. And I thought I'd do something different. I thought I would scope my blog. I would normally... Um, I finished as you went to watch. Oh, no. But did you watch the replay, Sarah? I just keep talking while she respond. Um, so yeah, I you haven't watched it. Oh my god, I I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you. So what happened was um you got distracted. It's easily enough done. I was watching Denise Duffy or Thomas and that was distracting enough for me. Um so anyway, back to it. Um so today squirrel. <laughs> So today I um I did this scope um to upload into my blog, which is going out tomorrow. I write to write and it's about JFDI. Just fucking do it. Sorry, I should have put a language disclaimer at the start of this. Anyway, so I thought, yep, I've been doing some research about um not JFDI, it's something I do all the time. Um about periscopes and capturing the comments and the love hearts and you're thank you um and i'm an android user so it's um there's lots of stuff out there for ios you know swipe right for ios swipe up for for android to to get people onto the the scope um thankfully yes we've now android has caught up we can now i can now actually go onto my profile and i can see all of the scopes that i've done all the broadcasts um which is fabulous because when i first joined up a whole week ago um i wasn't able to do that um so periscope is catching up you know what i'd really like periscope to catch up on is the stats because at the moment down in the bottom corner of my screen it says that there are six people on here um but i could almost guarantee that there are more than six people on this at the moment um or there's less than six people on um i've been on scopes which say for example there are six people on and i've you know swiped up to see that there is actually two people on um so hey nat marie um so yeah so what happened was i was um screen capturing six live and five web perhaps perhaps 
Um, just to let you know, on my JFDI post that I did this afternoon, there were 121 viewers live. Um, and if I had known that when I actually went and did it, I would have freaked out. Uh, not too live and others on the web. Perhaps that's exactly it. Perhaps that's just it, that the rest of you are all watching me through Twitter. Um, through the link that Twitter puts up. Perhaps that's just it. So, um, and if you are, guess what? You can't comment. You can't give me hearts. Um, you can't really participate. Thank you for being here, though. Um, and thank you for the hearts. Um, so what I was doing was, I was, back to it, I, I had set up at the start of the scope to screen capture um, the the periscope. Um, I was using a, a um, piece of software called Mosacon, Movacon, something that I'd Googled. Um, I tried a few other ones um, that gamers use. A um, lot of teenage boys capturing Minecraft. Um, and that was basically what I followed. Um, but the thing was is that um, that I didn't realise that it would do was that it killed all of the interactivity of Periscope, which is what Periscope's great for. Um, so I couldn't read any of the comments on the screen. I could not see who was joining. I could not see any hearts. Now, I have to admit, there are no hearts. No one, I've watched the replays, no one gave me any hearts. No. Um, but I've got to be honest, it really wasn't one that I would give hearts to. And it's not because it's bad. Thanks, Sarah. Um, it's because it was gut-wrenching. Seriously gut-wrenching stuff. Um, I cried on Periscope. I mean, I, I literally cried. Um, so what I was talking about was JFDI. I know, I cried, tears. Oh, I'll get to it, okay? Why? I'll get to it. Come on, I've got to build some suspense. Give a girl a chance. Um, so I was talking about JFDI, so just fucking do it. Don't do it again. I'll try not to. It's a good thing I didn't have any mascara on. Um, so what I was talking about I'd spoken about how my husband had taken on um, the JFDI philosophy and how I had used it I have used it I do use it through my life um, I did it when I made the leap from a six-figure um, main income earning job to being an entrepreneur um, and you know going to earning nothing you know you know, working to selling buttons. No, I was I went to selling hair ties. That's that's what I went to. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, we do it for the love. Um so I was talking about that and um I was talking about Nat Marie, you must have some some serious trouble try, trying to get on the call. Um thank you for keep popping back in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so what was I saying? So why was I crying? Um, so I was talking about the stuff that I, that I did and, you know, um, how that it's hard and it's gut wrenching and it's daily grind. And some days you just don't want to, to get up and keep going in JFDI. And some days I don't, some days I, I don't crawl up in a ball. That's just not me. Um, you're on a walk and you keep getting interrupted. Good on you. Good on you for being out on a walk. I, it is currently, oh, it's five past 11 here in Adelaide um, at night and it's winter and we've just had, what is it, the 24th of June. You're in bed. I'm sitting in my study. Um, 24th of June. So it's midsummer, midsummer um, or midwinter. Um, I'll just be sneaky. It's my husband and my wedding anniversary today. He's in the next room. Um, so where was I? Ah, oh, talking about how every day it's, it's a, it's a grind some days and some days I don't do it. Some days I don't JFTI. Some days I just 
Slug on the couch, what TV, chill out with my girlfriends and all of that kind of stuff. And um, I got to the point where I was saying, look, you know, it's um, self-care is one of the things that I actually seriously suck at. Um, it's 9.30 in the morning in summertime trying to beat the heat. Where's here? Where is here? I can only assume... Um, having lived in the States, that it would be somewhere in the States because I also know that summertime in the UK is not hot, um, having visited the UK. In Atlanta, Georgia. I have been to Atlanta, Georgia, in fact. Only the airport, but damn, it's hot there. I don't do humidity. Um, so kudos to you um, for getting out and going for a walk. I would be too. It was hot. It's super hot. Yep. We were in, um, took the kids to Disney World in September last year. And I swear it was so hot and so humid. Um, it was gross. It was seriously gross. Um, in fact, it rained so much there. Orlando, I'm a brave soul. Um, yeah. Well, you know, being an Aussie, we, we don't have those things. We have theme parks, but really... Does it much compare to, to going to Disney World? I'm still a seven-year-old at heart. Um, so, yeah, so why I was crying, Sarah, I'm getting to it, I promise you. Um, so I was saying that I suck at self-care and that, oh, my God, think about it, I'm starting to choke up. That, deep breath, that... Um, I had, what happened was last month, you pay attention again now, okay, thanks, um, you know, I've gotten over all the other stuff, but I digress, um, so last month I had booked an event that I had to pull out of because I got, <laughs> thank you Nat Marie, this is what I realised on my scope, that is exactly what I realised Nat Marie, is that, um, I am the most important person. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I had um, booked an event that I had wanted to get into for months and I came down with pharyngitis. I lost my voice. So pretty useless spending the day talking with no voice. So I had to pull out of it. I was so sick I couldn't drive the car. I had to get my husband to drive me to the doctor's. Um, and it took me about five days to recover and I was still coughing two weeks after that. It was awful. I was seriously, seriously sick. Um, and on the scope this, this afternoon, I mentioned that and it got to the point where I was saying, you know, I realized that, um, I had to look after myself and I had to look after myself, not just for my family but for my clients and that's when it hit me this afternoon it hit me that I actually really do seriously need to take care of myself I mean yes you know they, they talk about this whole thing where you know the um airplane analogy that you know they they go through the briefings the safety briefings when you get on a plane and you know you put your um, oxygen mask on first before you assist others around you and I went yeah 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 sure sure I know all that kind of stuff and a few years ago it actually hit home with my family that you know I wasn't doing that I was sticking everybody else's oxygen masks on first and I was passed out on the ground um and uh, the other week when I had the pharyngitis um, the exact same thing happened. I was not for six. I was of no use to anyone. I couldn't work um, because I was so sick. And it really hit home this afternoon that um, I really need to take care of myself. Um, <laughs> and it's ironic considering this week I've been taking care of my daughter who's been sick the start of this week. She's had a temperature and a cold and all of those fun things that you get when you have school-aged kids. Um, so yeah, I was running out around after her and doing what I had to. Today was the first day that I was actually, she was able to go back to school and I was able to do some work. So I was madly working, um, because tomorrow I'm 
JFDIing self care. Yay, I'm going to the hairdresser. Um, and I'm actually seriously looking forward to it. But of course, I've got a client meeting beforehand. So I'm, yay, I know, I love my hairdresser. I'm actually thinking I might scope from my hairdressers today. Uh, tomorrow because I think some people might like him I mean I love him I'm you know biased but he is the quintessential gay hairdresser and he is gorgeous and I've known him since I was a since we were in high school and I just love him to bits and um a sneaky thing is is that here in Australia he is Olivia Newton-John's hairdresser so, um, I do like my hairdresser. He's, um, I mean, I'm overdue for a visit, but, um, yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a thing. So why did I jump on tonight? Tonight was to see if anyone had any comments. Now I've watched back the replay and there were two and they were from Rachel Edits. So Rachel, I really appreciate those comments. Um, so if you're watching this back um, on replay or if you're on the scope, I'm going to answer them now. Um, so what I spoke about was um, with JFDI was to, um, you don't have to make the big the big changes you don't have to do the the big things the big ticket items what you can do is make small steps and small changes and jfdi small in small increments because what you will do is you'll prove to yourself that you can actually achieve it um and <laughs> it's dropping it out on you well maybe it's because you're lying in bed <laughs> um nah look you can always watch it on replay um, so yeah, it's, um, so Rachel said to, uh, record those small changes that you make, which is a fabulous tip. Yeah. I fully agree to record those changes. Actually, I fully agree on, uh, on recording stuff, recording, recording financials. Look, so many small business owners don't record their financials. Um, and it's something I've done, um, this financial year just gone I went from um good old excel spreadsheet to actually using some software to track my income and you know what it's cool seeing the little bar graph with my income and expenditures next to each other and to see how it's changed it's nice it's really really nice um so the other thing uh financials excite you oh, I find them dull I really seriously find them dull. Um, I like trying to squeeze the most out of them. Um, that's one of the things. And I'm going through that at the moment with my hair accessory business and trying to squeeze the most out of that um, and changing some of the things I'm doing with that to increase my profit margin. Because let's face it, it's all about profit. Um, at the end of the day and making sure that I'm able to provide, I like getting more of them. <laughs> um, so the other thing that Rachel said was, cause I made a, um, remark saying that, um, many of the top entrepreneurs use JFDI, um, in their business. And that is one of their keys to success. And I used Sir Richard Branson as an example. And uh, Rachel said that um, most of them are bootstrappers. I have to admit, I actually had to look up what bootstrapping is. Um, and it's about, you know, um, starting up a business. And I just checked my notes. So exactly. I went, what? It's not a, a term I use. Um, it Maybe it's not a term that's commonly used here in Australia. Um, I don't know. So it's about um, lean startups. We call them lean startups over here. Um, so it's starting up with um, minimal financial um, outlay. And I've got to be honest, that's how I've started both of my businesses, especially right to right. It's a US thing. Thank you, Nat Marie. Um, because yeah, bootstrapping is not something that we that we associate with here in Australia. It's not that we don't do it, believe me, we do. Um, it's just not something that we refer to. So yeah, um yes, it's I I 
fully admit and um, agree that they would have been lean startups or bootstrap um, businesses. But the thing is, is that the JFDI approach is what got them through and what continued and what allowed them to, along with, you know, sound financial investments and all of that kind of stuff. But it's this willingness to to take that step and make that leap and go ahead and JFDI is, you know, this is what they're saying is what made, helped those entrepreneurs to become the, um, the successes that they are today. So, um, curious if anybody else uses JFDI, JFDI. Okay. So this is my, um, language disclaimer that Marie, JFDI stands for just fucking do it. Okay. Um, so some people say just focus and do it. Um, it's basically a Nike, um, you know, use the Nike philosophy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it is, it's, it's seriously just getting out of your own way, getting out of your own head and just getting on and doing it. Um, and what I said today was that, um, Michelle Bridges, yes, um, Sarah, she was the first, I've had a look at it, she's the first person that I know of that has, that used JFDI, um, and I've got to be honest, I wasn't a Biggest Loser fan, um, the only time I used to watch Biggest Loser was with a bowl of ice cream, um, and, um, yeah, so that was, I, I wasn't a Biggest Loser fan, um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so the that's what the JFDI stuff is all about. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd jump on, see if there were any other questions, um, just explain to you guys what happened, what went wrong. So if you have any tips on screen capturing to capture the comments and the hearts, please let me know. I would really like to know. Um, there are lots of tips flying around Periscope at the moment about um, for iOS and Android. Um, and um, the, the main problem that I have is not capturing the comments. Um, and it seems that I won't be because if it means that I can't see them when I'm actually recording, that totally defeats the purpose of being here and being able to connect and... Um, and interact with you guys so um look i'm going to leave it there for this evening um my blog post is now live on right to write um i've now got to go and write the newsletter to be sent out tomorrow afternoon so i better sign off because it is now 20 past 11 here in adelaide and um it's time for me to go so good night Night, Sarah. Night, night, Marie. And, um, in, no, no. Um, enjoy your run. And I hope it doesn't get too hot. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you both again soon. All right, take care.